welcome to my channel hi if you're new here my name is chelsea thank you so much for clicking on my video hey girl as you guys can see from the title today we're going to be talking about the things that i have been doing to make sure i look and feel put together all the time i actually set this as an intention beginning of the year i was like you know what i really want to start making an effort into the way i look even when i'm staying in the house and a few months ago my mom showed me this meme and it was basically a picture of a girl how she looks on instagram and when she's outside versus how she looks at home and my mom showed that to me and she was like this is you and guys it hit me because i was like oh my god in january i set an intention to always look put together even when i'm home and here is my mom telling me that actually yeah you've been looking a bit mm -mm, when you're in the house and I was like you know what I have to go back to that intention for the past two months I have literally been perfecting the art of making sure I look and feel put together all the freaking time because whether we want to admit it or not the world that we live in is vain and subconsciously people will treat you better when you look good the way you look will get you into rooms that your personality and your intellect might not necessarily do people will only get to know that about you once you've got into the room but for you to get into those rooms the way you look is gonna do everything for you so we're gonna have to take care of that but in this video i want to focus on how to look and feel put together black girl edition we don't really get catered to a lot of the times that people do these videos and we have very specific problems i have written down everything that i really want to touch on black girl friendly because we too want to look put together but i want to talk about girls that look like me so before we even get into the video i do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of a portion of this video who is love me hair they were kind enough to send me this beautiful kinky straight 10 inch bob and i know when you clicked on this video you were like did, did she straighten her hair is her hair out the hair that we're installing today is from love me hair so you get a free wig cap um i think this is an elastic band to secure the wig and this is a user guide on how to take care of the hair there's a little baggie for you to put your hair in all right so this is the hair that we're gonna be installing it is a 10 inch kinky straight wig feels really soft as well very good quality it's 100 percent human hair and it also comes with the the 4c edges i don't know if you guys can actually see that on camera but it does but you can also only wear it as a side part you can literally take it out of the box put it on cut the lace and you're done you're literally done and on the side part the knots have been fully bleached so this is literally ready for you to go this is what the lace looks from the inside it comes with the two clips on the side one clip on the bottom it has the adjustable straps and it also has the band which is adjustable as well it's giving dora mm -hmm. do you see that movement back there do you see that movement? We will be rocking this hair glueless. So let's cut the lace. I'm using a pair of scissors to cut the lace, but I'm going in a jagged motion because if you cut your lace in a straight line, it looks very unrealistic. I'm definitely going to straighten the hair, but this is how it would look if you decided to rock it straight out of the box. It is literally ready to go.
to pull off any hairstyle should actually be studied in the lab because why why am i eating this up why what and this is gonna be my hair when I'm back in uni because I just wanna put something on, not have to think about it. The side part makes it so easy because a lot of people do look good in a side part, so this would definitely suit your face. This is honestly one of the best ways to instantly look put together. I'm gonna have all the details in the description box if you guys wanna get this hair for yourself or if you wanna browse their website and get something else, I'll definitely have all the details in the description box. Lovely hair. I'm giving it a 10. So let's get back in the video. If you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button. Make sure you like the video so you don't forget because if you leave it up to the end, you might end up forgetting. If I was to leave the house right now and bump into a black girl, it could spark an entire friendship just talking about hair because that's the one thing we have in common, especially for my 4C hair girlies. I am a true 4C, a genuine 4C. I'm not talking about the girlies that say, oh yeah, watch me do a wash and go with my 4C hair. Watch me do um, a leave out on my 4C hair. I'm not talking about those ones, because girl, if you can do a wash and go, you don't have 4C hair. So stop lying to us because girls that actually have 4C hair are looking at that content and feeling bad about their hair texture because we can't do that. What has actually saved me is wigs. I, I would love to say, oh yeah, taking care of my hair is all nice and fun, but it's stressful, girl, it's stressful. I just want something that is quick and convenient and that's why I've fallen in love with wigs. Honestly, I would just advise investing in good, quality hair, 100% human hair. If you're going to wear wigs, you can do sew-ins and leave outs and all those things that everyone else be doing right now. But honestly, a good wig is always going to take you a long way. It's because the time that you're having a bad hair day, you could just pop a wig on and you're good. You don't necessarily have to do very expensive things for you to get it done. If you don't have the money to go and get pay someone to do your hair, learn how to do it at home. Before I started wearing wigs, I actually used to do my own hair. I would sit a mirror at the front, a mirror at the back, and do my own hair. I'm gonna put a few pictures. I used to do my own hair. But once your hair is done, half of your problems are finished. The next thing I want you to do is learn how to do your makeup. I want you to focus on learning how to do your eyebrows properly. Because I promise you, your eyebrows frame your face. They will change everything. It changes the entire game. The days that I don't want to put a full face of makeup, all I do is make sure my eyebrows are done, do a bit of mascara, line my lips and put some lip gloss on and honestly that is done. Just learn how to do your eyebrows or get them microbladed because that's just gonna frame your face and it actually makes you feel so put together if your eyebrows are done. When it comes to makeup, it's not necessarily about the products that you're using, it's about the technique. Learn how to do your makeup. Learn how to do your makeup properly and then once you've figured out the look that works on you, stick to that. You don't have to get so crazy about learning how to do eyeshadow and blah 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 just learn how to do the makeup that looks good on you and stick to that looking and feeling put together is not just about when you're outside and people are seeing you it's even when you're in the house you might not necessarily be wearing makeup when you're at home but you have to make sure you're taking care of your skin and one of the major black girl problems when it comes to our skin is hyperpigmentation and the reason why hyperpigmentation is a big problem in the black community is because we have melanin and melanin is really beautiful because it, the same melanin that protects us from the sun and that makes us so beautiful and glowy unfortunately is the same melanin that leads to even more hyperpigmentation look for products that are good for your skin because not all products are actually good for us one of the products that i know that a lot of people use but is not necessarily very friendly to our skin is actually glycolic acid the percentage in the ordinary glycolic acid is actually very high so if you're gonna be using glycolic acid make sure you're not using it every single day because that's gonna ruin your skin and you're gonna end up getting even more hyperpigmentation because you're trying to treat hyperpigmentation first time i waxed myself i actually bruised my underarms and i ended up getting a boxy literal box of hyperpigmentation because i got the 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 strip wax you know the cheap ones that you get from like boots or whatever i got that and i did it and it was so bad because i hurt my skin really really bad and i ended up getting really bad hyperpigmentation and what actually helped me was kojic soap the Kojic Sand Soap, I normally get this one in the three pack, it comes in the three pack, I get it from Amazon and it actually goes a long way, took my underarms from looking like this to this. 
the reason why we get the hyperpigmentation is because of inflammation you can get inflammation from the sun products that are too harsh for you from over exfoliating your thighs rubbing too much you can't be putting all these products on your skin trying to treat your hyperpigmentation and then you go out in the sun and you don't have any protection because if you're putting all these acids and all these actives on your skin it actually makes your skin even more sensitive to the sun so you really have to make sure you're topping it off with a good sunscreen and when you learn to take care of your skin you actually do look put together because when your skin is looking glowy soft and supple it really does something you know it looks like yeah she takes care of herself she takes care of her skin already we have a natural glow because we've got melanin on top of the melanin you're exfoliating you're hydrating your skin you know a little hyaluronic acid you're treating your hyperpigmentation being kind to your skin all those things add up and you end up looking very polished very put together and actually you might end up reducing how often you're having to put makeup on because your skin is actually good next point about looking put together is your clothes and i know a lot of people struggle to find their style personally i'm very very passionate about dressing up i've always been a fashion girly i don't really struggle with my clothes if you're struggling to find your style the one piece of advice i'm gonna give you is stick to dressing for your body type stop trying to experiment with different styles because it can get very expensive trying to experiment with all these different styles because you're gonna have to buy all these clothes to avoid that stick to dressing for your body type please i beg you i don't care what is trending i don't care who looks good in what stick to dressing for your body type if you are top heavy make sure you get some good bras don't be wearing bras that like your titties are literally pouring out and we can literally see the, the the band of the bra is literally over here go and get your bras properly fitted so that they actually give you proper support make sure you're dressing for your body get a good shapewear i highly recommend the scheme shapewear i don't know where mine is let me go get it this is the shapewear that I've got. I've got the one that has a thong bottom. I really, really like this one because I can wear it with tight dresses and pants and I don't have to worry about getting a panty line. But I really, 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 really love this um, shapewear. And I've got, the one that I've got is in the size medium. And I like that the color is, you know, somewhere closer. Well, it is darker, but it's closer to my skin tone. This snaps you in. Apart from that, it just smoothens everything out. Because if you're wearing a tight dress, especially, or clothes that probably the material is not that good, and we can literally see all the bumps on your body, it just doesn't look that good. If you want to look and feel put together, especially if you're going to be in fitted dresses, get yourself a good shape. And we all know Miss Kim K did not come to play with Kim, so invest in a good one. And I really highly recommend this one. A lot of us as black women have been well endowed on our bottoms. And when it comes to things like mom jeans, yeah, that's where we draw the line. Because there's no enough stretch in those jeans for you to actually wear them comfortably. So until you get mom jeans that actually fit you properly stop trying to partake in that trend you don't have to wear mom jeans if they don't fit you if i get my actual size I, it doesn't go up my thigh if i get a size that is bigger it squishes up my hips it squishes up my butt and then the waist is massive dressing for your body type is going to do way more for you than you trying to be trendy and be like everyone else we cannot talk about looking put together without touching on the way you smell girl i don't care how good you you're looking I don't care how well your makeup is sitting I don't care how fire your outfit is if you pass me and I go hmm. every positive thing that I felt about you goes out of the window one take a shower take, take, just take a shower especially in the summer take two if you can and if you're in your period make it two summertime is not the time for you to be experimenting with that aluminium free deodorant please please for the love of god get you an antiperspirant deodorant during the summer because everyone else is suffering apart from you i don't know what it is about people that smell bad because it's like they never know the way they're smelling because for me if i've had a long day and i'm smelling sweaty i can actually smell myself in fact i feel so embarrassed when i can smell how bad i'm smelling it literally makes me boil because i really have a strong sense of smell so i can smell things from a mile away make sure you use products that smell good that are feminine and that make you smell good invest in a good perfume that actually has longevity the one that i use um this is my favorite perfume ever i know you guys have seen it everywhere but you're seeing it everywhere for a reason i love this scent so much 
and it lasts this perfume like you will be smelling it on you even at the end of the day in fact in the beginning at some point it was a bit overpowering for me like because it's that strong if you have the money invest in a niche fragrance because those do tend to be of much higher quality than designer fragrances but you can also get yourself a good designer fragrance that's good but this is honestly one of my favorite scents and i really really love it so much it just ah oh. It smells so good and I've got so many compliments from from wearing this by the way being told you smell good just hits different like it's one thing to be told you're pretty or you're nice or you're sweet but for someone to say oh my god what are you wearing you smell so good take me away if you get irritated by a lot of perfumes I would probably say get you a body butter that smells good and the one that I love is the Laura Mercier. I've got the one in Ambre Vanille for a body cream. It's quite expensive, but I genuinely really, really love this body cream so much. It is so moisturizing, but it also smells so good. When it comes to a lot of body creams, some of them could smell nice, but the smell doesn't really last. But this one, and this is my second bottle of the Laura Mercier. I mean, you guys can see how much. I mean, at this point, it's literally gone. The first time I wore this to go see my sneaky link, he texted me the next morning and he's like, oh my God, my sheets smell like you. My pillows smell like you. Everything smells like you. And it was because of this. So when I tell you, you better come up here and get you one of these. I mean it. All right, so now we've taken care of the basics. Your hair, your makeup, your outfit, the way you smell. But now, the devil is always in the detail. Get your nails done. Go and get your nails done. And getting your nails done doesn't have to be expensive. Go get yourself a nice manicure. If you can't go and get it done, do it at home. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. You can even just use normal nail polish and just paint your nails or use gel at home and just paint your nails. I personally do love the crazy look. I'm young and I am very experimental. I know a lot of people frown on trying different designs on your nails. But currently, I've been taking a break from acrylics so that I can actually grow out my nails. And this is what my nails look like. But what you will never do is catch me with my nails looking funny i actually used to be a chronic nail biter and i can tell you girl now suddenly you've bitten all your nails off and you can't even do this because your nails look so ugly you have to hide them this is you now this is you now because your nails are so ugly you can't even do things like this you can't talk like this because your nails are so ugly and now you're wondering how do i point there how do i show someone something on my phone like i can't do this because my nail looks so bad i personally do have an led lamp at home uh, my mom and i normally share this and every single time that i probably don't want to go and get my nails done for whatever reason i just put them at home and all you have to do is spend on the led lamp and uh, gel polish once and you're never gonna have to do it again whatever you do make sure those nails are done don't forget about your cuticle please have a little cuticle oil somewhere I personally love my little I have this little cuticle oil that I got from Amazon and I love this so much because I actually put it in my bag it fits in a lot of things you guys can see it's almost running out I do have a bigger one that I use to refill into this one doesn't matter if your nails are done and your cuticles are looking crusty and dry and ugly especially if you get acrylic done because you guys know that look especially when they start to grow out oh lord it's so ugly please get you some cuticle oil your nails are done your cuticles are moisturized and get yourself a nice hand cream the one that i've got is from the body shop in the british rose formula i really really do like this actually it's very hydrating we're speaking i'm gonna moisturize my hands actually but i always have a hand cream everywhere with me because you're not about to touch my hands and feel like they're sandpaper nah nah i want to feel ladylike and soft and delicate and one way to do that is make sure your hands are feeling soft and moisturized all the time right, so picture this you meet a girl her nails are done her hair is done her makeup is done she looks done head to toe and then you look at her toes and her feet and you're like girl what's going on why do those feet look like who did it and why why are you looking like that get your toes done it doesn't have to be anything crazy get you can even do a home pedicure for all i care it doesn't really matter make sure your toes are done i personally committed to make sure making sure my toes are done and i've been doing it for two years now i actually do my toes myself with my beloved led lamp 
and my gel nail polish and I just make sure my toes are done. And also when it comes to your feet, scrub your feet. And get yourself a nice pumice stone. I personally, I'm not really a fan of getting a foot scraper because that's a bit too harsh on your foot. If you're ex over exfoliating your feet, end up interfering with the skin barrier, causing even more buildup of dead skin. I know I promised you guys a foot care routine. I'm gonna give it to you after this video, I promise. I promise it's actually coming this time. I will finally do a foot care routine for you guys, but please take care of your toes and your feet that's how you feel and look put together it's all in the tiny little things that you guys be forgetting your dental hygiene girl for the love of god scrape that tongue when you brush your teeth because i don't understand how people brush their teeth and forget to scrape their tongue i don't get it the tongue is literally that do you know how much gunk sits on your tongue you've been eating all day drinking things you probably are smoking and then you go brush your teeth and forget your tongue if you're talking to me and i can see your tongue is white don't get me angry right now please don't 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 get me angry. I don't know what it is about people that have bad breath, but they're always the ones that seem to have no personal space. Because why are you in my face talking about, hey girl, why? Why am I, why? Don't, don't, don't even, don't look at me. And for the people that are trying to whiten their teeth, I definitely recommend the 3D Crest Whitening Strips. I actually used to use this ones um, quite a while and then I stopped because they do make my teeth very, very sensitive, but they actually work. So I would always top that up with the Sensodyne Pro Namel toothpaste. It really helps with the sensitivity. Now we're on the topic of dental hygiene. Gum disease is real. Like my mom has really been telling me about gum disease. Because it's one thing for your teeth to have issues, but your gums, you don't want your teeth to start falling off. So please take care of your gums. Take your vitamin C supplements to make sure you maintain your gums. A floss, brush twice a day. Heavy on brushing twice a day, please. So I know we've touched on a lot of external things that you need to do for you to look put together but we cannot forget about the things that we're putting into our bodies and by that i mean the food that you're eating whatever you're feeding your mind the people that you're hanging around all these things actually do contribute into you feeling and looking put together watch content that is uplifting for you especially as a black girl watch content that praises black women content that celebrates black women hang around women that take their looks seriously women that take care of themselves because that is going to inspire you to make sure you're taking care of yourself garbage in garbage out you can't be eating fast food every day and then you're wondering why your skin is breaking out you haven't changed your bed sheet and your pillowcases for two weeks and wondering why this side of your face has pimples that are not disappearing girl take care of yourself take care of what you're feeding your body and start incorporating these things step by step i hope that you guys are gonna try some of these things out and if you do if you're already doing some of these things let me know in the comment section how that is making you feel and what impact you're having on the people around you i'm so hungry right now so i'm gonna end the video here but i hope that you guys enjoyed it i love you guys so so much thank you guys for always supporting my content before you forget Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye!